Welcome back to Tiki Tommy TV. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, as you can see, I dyed my beard. Everybody's making fun of me. It's a little too dark, but as women have said to me uh, that I've been talking to, it will lighten up in a few weeks, but makes me look a little younger. But anyway, my video is not about that, not about my looks. Um, like I said, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Spend time with your family. Family is the most important thing. Um, just want to give you guys a quick video, as I promised. I am so proud of myself. I made my kids, that's why they're pink. I have twin girls, two, uh, one each, EDC mini packs. And I want to go over, they're both the same, so we'll go over just one of them. Um, so I want to do that. But as always, I want to mention my, not sponsors, but the people that I like recommending um, and who do support the channel. So we'll start off with Survivewear. They make the uh, survival kits or first aid kit that I showed you. I did a video on. You can click the links in my video and uh, take a look at those. I work with them. They're a great company. They're going to be, I think, sending me out some products to review that they do sell um, in the future. So I'm working with them on that. But uh, hello, Survivewear. Also, USCCA, United States Concealed Carry Association. Don't forget, guys, if you're carrying a firearm legally, having them in your corner is peace of mind. I love having them. I know that in a situation where I have to use my firearm, um, that they're going to be in my corner and have my back. Uh, also, my good friend Ryan G. What's up, Ryan G. from Tampa Carry? If you guys are interested in getting your concealed carry permit, a license, give Ryan a call. Uh, you can just Google his, go to his site, tampacarry.com. Um, he gives this classes, he does range classes safety classes give him a call he does great work he certified me and i love him i recommend him like crazy uh he's a great guy also last but not least liberty home concealment they make these great concealment products uh with the right key i dropped it but that key you can open it up and access your firearms your you know valuables whatever you want they make headboards and cabinets this happens to be an american flag they make larger ones that hold rifles give them a call they make amazing products and all of these these four companies i mentioned guys the owners are amazing business people and i don't mean that because they have successful businesses but they know how to treat their customers. I, I, I've been dealing with a company and you know, I, I don't know if I wanna mention names. I bought uh, several backpacks from them because I love the backpacks, but the company, uh, you know, they, they're, uh, I don't know, their customer service and I've watched other YouTubers, they said the same thing about their customer service. Um, I'm going to mention him, uh, you know, I'm not knocking them, but Vertex, I actually have a bag. I just want to go over quickly too, uh, which I just received this Vertex, uh, carrier, I think they call it. So again, I love the products. It's, it's the company's, I don't want to say morals, but whatever, just the company, whatever you call it. I, I'm not too fond of, um, also don't forget, uh, bear arms holsters. They're also on my, uh, on my reco list. They are amazing. They make some custom Kydex holsters with the mag uh, pouch right on the side built in. It's amazing. You got to check them out also. Um, anyway, now back to my favorite thing, which I want. What's in my daughter's EDC packs? That's the question. So let's find out. Let's dig right in now. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to break down the case. As you see, I just put a little American flag on there because we definitely love our country and I want to support. Okay, also, they're little girls. They make messes. So I put on here, uh, obviously, some hand sanitizer. And these packs, I'll, I'm going to say that I, they'll take them to school. A couple of the items I have to remove for school carry. A uh, little bit, little pocket knife and stuff. I don't want them to get in trouble. But this is, like I said, I made this because of 
you know, when they leave the house, I want them to carry this with them in their little backpacks. Okay, so uh, emergency whistle, if God forbid, you know, they're being attacked or whatever, or going to be attacked, they can make some noise. I have this little flashlight here. Can you see that on camera? Yeah, you can see it a little. This is just basically the, once the pack's open in the night, you know, they can look and retrieve what they want. Then for a, uh, a little bit bigger of a light is the O light. Um, I forgot the, uh, I don't even know. It doesn't even have, but the, I guess the O light, it's a mini little thing. This thing is bright. I don't know how many lumens. I want to say maybe 50 or 100. Uh, but anyway, so they have that on the outside so they can get to it quickly. So let's move inside. Uh, before we go inside, the outer pack, because this thing is so tight, all I have in the front here, and you can see the little round dial, it's a compass. I taught them how to use a compass. Uh, taught them, you know, basic about it, you know, and everything. But I wanted to put a compass in there. They can get to it once they open the pack. But I, I'm just going to leave it in there for now. I'm going to also aim the camera down now that we're going to open up this baby, which I am so proud of. Take a look. All right, let's shoot this camera down a little bit, and we are going to look at what I have in my daughter's EDC pack. Okay, so we did that stuff. Let's get that out of the way. Let's talk about the stuff you see right off the top, and then we'll go into the pocket. So out here, it's a little adorable knife. It just, um, it flips open. Um, you know, if, if, you know, they know how to use a knife. Obviously, I taught them. But again, this will have to be removed when going to school or airports or anything like that. But I wanted them to have it in here for an emergency. By the way, my kids are 12 going on 13 soon. So they're not babies. They know that knives to be careful with and everything. I have about 15 to 20 feet of paracord for them. I have a just a wooden pencil, standard wooden pencil. Um, then this is something I showed them how to use. Well, it's a pen. I don't have to show them that. But this has the glass breaker on it. I told them, you know, in a situation where maybe, God forbid, they're kidnapped, they're taken, thrown into a vehicle, locked, uh, and they have a few minutes by themselves, the pe person's not there, you take this, you whack the window, it should break. I told them, hit it hard with all your might until that window breaks, I said, and jump out and run to safety. Uh, then I bought these little tins thanks to the Urban Prepper. I thank him. Also want to thank uh, my other right-hand man, George Define. He's a great YouTuber. Follow him. Uh, George Define is his YouTube channel. Um, he's been helping me out trying to grow my channel, but he's a great guy. Loves backpacks. So if you're looking to get a backpack, look at all his reviews before you buy because his videos are just mind-blowing. So what's up, George? What's up, Urban Prepper? He is the most organized guy, I think, in the world. Check his stuff out. So anyway, I got these little tin ideas from him. So you open up the tin, and they're going to have some earplugs, a couple of fishing hooks, and a couple of bobby pins. That's basically it for, the, for that little uh, tin. I didn't want to overload them. They're very small, but I didn't want the hooks jingling around here. They also have... Uh, fishing line which we'll go over next so now we work over to this side and they have you know fire start just something they've been taught how to use um, when we went out camping a couple of times so I taught them how to use that they know how to do it uh, this is not a fancy old light stream light none of that it's a great little flashlight I picked up at, at Walmart I picked up two of them they have a couple of different settings yeah, high, low. Anyway, so I just put, now this will be like the third light they have in their kit as backups. And I also have a little extra battery for them. Um, and then, again, this will have to come out for school or airports. But, you know, I, I can't afford top of the line stuff. So, you know, uh, Leatherman and, and Swiss Army and all that stuff. I can't afford all that stuff. So this is, man, it's a heavy little knife. It has the corkscrew, Phillips. Scissors, a knife, a file. Um, I said scissors, I think. It's a nice little blade, pretty sharp. So, I, you know, I told my kids, be careful with this. But, um, you know, a nice, nice knife. And then I picked these up, I think, on Amazon. These little things, they're little discs. Very thin, maybe like quarter of an inch. You wet it and it opens up to a sponge. 
or, or, or cloth, I should say. Um, so I kept that one of those in there. And then I bought these little compartments on uh, Amazon also. Okay, so what they have in here is four uh, Tylenol. I didn't want to put more because uh, some people may say, oh, how do you give 13-year-olds medication? Even if they took all four, they're not going to harm themselves. Uh, but it helps them out. They get headaches frequently. Uh, one cough drop, and then in the bottom is a prescription pill that they do take for their stomach. Um, it's, uh, you know, just helps. They get, what do you they queasy stomachs from time to time. All right, now we'll work our way down into the pockets. And I got all three of us, uh, gonna take that cover off, uh, right in the rain pads. Goes with the pen and pencil if they need to, you know, God forbid, write a note if something should happen to them to get rescued or help. Then in here, we have some Band-Aids, some alcohol pads, you know, just like a little boo-boo kit. Uh, in here, we have, um, it's a little metal tool, you know, what do they call those, you know, screw, it has a screwdriver, pliers, whatever. Just something to uh, also help them out if they should need it. Uh, so everything goes, I love this pack because everything just goes in so neatly, so organized. It's so clean. Then I have in last but not least, uh, like I told you, some fishing string. And then this I told, showed them how to use. It's the uh, like the little saw you put around wood and with the key rings. You can cut wood. So we're going to let them use this when we set up our first camping trip overnighter. And then some, like I said, they're little girls, so little makeup wipes or handy wipes, and there's their fishing line. So basically, guys, they have everything they're going to need for an emergency situation, and also, you know, when we go camping, they can bring their little little sets with them. They see mine and how I got into the um, EDC world and the, you know, the prepper world and everything. You know, these are definitely packed out. They close easy, but you can tell they're packed. It's, it's tight, so... They love the kits. They're going to keep them on them. We're going to be going to New York for the holidays. So, um, you know, I want them when they're not around me, when they're visiting other family, you know, um, their mom's family and stuff, to have this with them, you know, and keep in their backpack along with their, they always walk around with their iPad and their laptop. So um, anyway, I don't know. I got to break down what this cost me. It's not a lot. I'm going to try to eventually add the links to all this stuff. But I'm thinking, guys, to actually making these. This is the Van Quest, by the way. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the little pack here. I'm thinking about making these, not by, you know, mass producing or anything, but and seeing how much I can maybe sell them for, not only to make money, but, you know, just to help out kids and make sure parents can keep their kids, uh, you know, prepped and ready to go in case of emergencies or anything. So I just wanted to make this video. I promised it to you guys. Let me zoom up here so you can see me. There I am. Um, so anyway, I have a lot more videos coming out. Um, I've been working on them. Uh, the holiday slowed me down a little and then a bunch of next holidays coming up. So it, they may be delayed or whatever. I'm trying to grow my channel, guys. So please uh, pass me around, um, you know, put my link share that i'm trying to build up my um my youtube channel i am following a bunch of youtubers i follow a ton um alexa out alexis outdoors she's also a great youtuber i follow her she's man she is like the perfect girl man she's married so i'm not doing anything she has a great husband i think his name is ryan uh great dog uh, grizz um, so I'm not hitting on her anyway, but she's like the perfect package. Ryan's a lucky dude. She's beautiful. She's smart. She loves the outdoors. She, she's perfect. But anyway, I don't want to sound like a stalker. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just want to mention I haven't used this yet. I'm going to use it for, I'm, I'm on the board, uh, on the architectural board on our committee. It's volunteer stuff I do. Um, in our development and stuff. So uh, I have to use a, a, lap, a laptop that they you know issued out to me. Uh, for many different things. So I want to start using this. I wanted it, to be honest with you, for an everyday carry, but it's just too small. And yeah, I'm not really good with knowing or knowing how much a liter bag, what, what a bag hold in liters and all that. And again, on Vertex website, it looks kind of big. And then when it came today, I'm like, oh boy, that's a tiny little thing. But um, anyway, so that's that, guys. I hope everybody has um, a great week ahead. 
Oh, by the way, George Devine also, I did my first video with my lapel mic. I hope it was louder and clearer and better than my past videos. Uh, as I get more, you know, set up and more followers and maybe making some money, um, I'm going to get, you know, a, a dedicated YouTube camera, but I can't afford that right now. I am the bare minimum prepper. I do everything with the, you know, the cheapest stuff because I can't afford top of the line stuff. But you know what? Sometimes the cheapest stuff is just as good, if not better. So again, over and out, everybody be well, God bless, and uh, be kind to one another. God is great. Take care, guys. Bye.